What's cooking everybody? It's Dor and in this video I'm going to show you how to complete the fourth phase in the Polestar Expedition in No Man's Sky. As always, I will of course show you how to complete all the milestones and do this in the fastest and efficient way possible for you in order to fully complete phase four as soon as possible. And if you follow my guide, you should have no trouble doing so. And so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So once again, you'll have a milestone which will require you to read the log. But as it was in the previous two phases, you will not be able to do so unless you are in the system of the Fort Rendezvous. So make sure to track the Rendezvous 4 milestone and walk up to the freighter warp map. Interact with it and make sure to follow the expedition route, my first warp being into the Nital system. As always, in every new system, make sure to fly out of your capital ship and onto the space station. Get out of your starship to make sure that you can always revisit this station via teleporter, but also of course to be able to expand your exosuit with another slot. And make sure to summon the anomaly before you head back towards your freighter, and go to the merchants all the way in the back to add yet another slot into your exosuit. So that's two slots in total per newly visited system. And of course, once you've done so, head back up to your bridge and open up the freighter warp map and continue along the expedition route, my second warp being into the Kandi Psych 18 system. My third warp is towards the Yuba Maisu system, my fourth warp is into the Seshingu system, and my fifth and final warp is into the target system, OEO 2. So once you are in the target system, you can of course reselect the lock for no going back milestone and make sure to talk to your captain aboard your starship. Choose to access the ship log. And after reading the log, the log for no going back milestone should be completed. And this will reward you with two powerful underwater oxygen upgrades, 10 life support gel and a green paid freighter customization. Of course, feel free to install the underwater protection module right away onto your exosuit. Now make sure that the running for four milestone is tracked and return to your starship. Fly out of your freighter and head up to the rendezvous 4 mark on your HUD. Make sure to land your starship at the approximate location and get out of it. Use the target sweep function on the analysis visor to home in on the location and make sure to head into that, that direction. Make sure to check back regularly to see if you're still going into the right direction. Once you are within range, the signal should finalize on the exact location. And once you get close to it, the rendezvous 4 milestone will be completed. And this will reward you with 3,333 nanites, a seven frigate module, two inventory slots. Of course, make sure to use the inventory slots on your cargo slots as these are most expensive to unlock. A multi-tool expansion slot and a cargo bulkhead. Now the Stardust milestone you should probably already have unlocked as it just requires you to shoot 50 androids. If not, just fly up to any asteroid system in outer space and start shooting some asteroids until the milestone unlocks. It's really very easy. So if you have the Stardust milestone completed, I would suggest to track the Reclamation milestone, which will require you to restore a crashed ship. Make your way back towards your starship. If you have returned to your ship, make sure to take off and to fly towards the space station. Land on the space station and get out of your starship. Now you'll have to make sure that you have some navigational data on you. If you haven't, make sure to interact with these glowy thingies scattered around as they might contain navigational data for you. Once you have some, make your way up to the cartographer. Interact with the cartographer and choose exchange specific charts. Make sure to acquire some emergency cartographic data. Now I would now recommend to head back into your ship and get in and out of it to create an autosave. Open your inventory and then hover above the emergency cartographic data and then choose to plot a route. If it is anything else than a ship, make sure to reload your autosave and to try again. Keep doing this until you found the distress signal. Get into your starship and fly there. You can fly over the distress beacon to see if there is any NPCs walking around. If so, make sure to reload your autosave, but if it isn't the case, make sure to land your starship. Get out of it and walk up to the crash site. Interact with the ship. Now, as you can see, this is a C-class starship and it is a plane crash ship. So I can compare it and choose to claim it to add it to my fleet. For the reclamation milestone, we will have to fix the ship. In order to do so, you will have to fix the launch thrusters and the pulse engine. 
Pulse engine requires one metal plating and a hermetic seal in order to be fully constructed. So make sure to craft a hermetic seal using condensed carbon and insert it to fully complete the pulse engine. Now for the large thruster we will need some pure ferrite and some dehydrogen jelly. Of course if you have enough dehydrogen you can easily create the dehydrogen jelly needed. So make sure to insert that. Now we will only need some pure ferrite. I would recommend to just get out of the ship and place down a portable refiner using one metal plating and 30 oxygen. Interact with the portable refiner, put in some fuel and put in some ferrite dust in order to output pure ferrite. Make sure to start it. While you're waiting, you might as well discover some minerals in the area as the prospector milestone will require you to discover 15 minerals. Now it could very well be that you already have this milestone completed, but if you haven't, make sure to look around for minerals and start scanning them. And of course, once your 50 mineral is scanned, the prospector milestone will be completed. And this will reward you with 3 salvage frigate modules, a supreme scanning system upgrade and 25 salvage data. Head your way back towards your portable refiner and make sure to extract the pure ferrite. Now use the pure ferrite to fix the launch thrusters. Don't forget to pick up the portable refiner and you shall see that the reclamation milestone is completed. And this milestone will reward you with the aeration membrane plans, an efficient water jet plans and a supreme life support upgrade. As always, make sure to immediately install the life support module and to have it touch your other technology for an NJCC bonus. Now the recycling milestone will require us to process the starship into valuable scrap. Easiest way to do this is to get into the ship you've just fixed and to take off. Fly into space and as soon as you can summon your capital freighter. Make sure to land on it. Get out of the starship and make your way up towards the bridge. Walk up to the buildable area and towards your teleporter and interact with it. And then you can easily warp into the space station of this current system. Once you're there, make sure that the correct ship is equipped. You should see it parked right here and go up to the Starship Outfitter. Interact with it and choose to claim the scrap worth, which is 3.6 million in this case. Reaffirm and once you exit it, this recycling milestone should be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you a Supreme Movement System upgrade, a Lost Artifact, a Supreme Launch Thruster upgrade and 5 repair kits. Now the last milestone to complete within this phase of the expedition is the gold like sand milestone which will require you to earn 9 million units in total. Now we have been rewarded some valuables throughout the previous phases and also of course grabbing this ship has gave us quite some money and some valuables to sell. So make sure to interact with the galactic trade terminal and choose sell. Go through your items and see what you can sell that's of high value. For example the water clogged aquamarine gem. But also these eye incapacitators and the subatomic re regulators and then all these other spare parts. As soon as you have reached the 9 million units, the gold like sand milestone should also be completed and this will reward you with 600 quicksilver, 3 inventory slots and a terrifying sample. And use the inventory slots on your cargo slots in your exosuit. Make sure to head back into the expedition tab to claim the phase 4 reward. Which is the fleet commander's cape customization. Of course, while we are at the space station, I'll make sure to immediately equip it so I can showcase it to you. If you want to do so, just walk up to the appearance modifier on the space station and interact with it. Then choose the backpack and then under cape you should see the fleet commander's cape. Now look at that, that's a pretty nice cape and a nice reward for this quite simple fourth phase of this expedition. And of course, that was also all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was to any good use of you. And I hope of course to see you for the final phase of this expedition, phase 5, which I will upload very very soon.